Now I'm going to show you upstairs. Going up. Here are your chores brochures, along with a cash machine to pay for parking, directions to the parking lots in the hotel. There's the administrative offices right over here. That's the event I work today. Serving everybody's food and everything. I'm a, I'm a server part time for the food and beverage department. Going up again. You also have the view of the skies. They even also have a sports museum downstairs. I think it opens around 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., the sports museum. You can see all the collectibles. In case you are bored or you need something to pat, or you need to go somewhere to pass the time, go look in their sports museum. There you have the Red River Boardroom. That's where people who have executive me meetings in there, that are executive. There are some people who have their wedding receptions at the Red River Boardroom or any other party. Let me give you a quick tour to the Red River Boardroom. See where it's set out? I'm mean set up. Beautiful, isn't it? You can also see Shreveport from here, downtown Shreveport. See the view? Beautiful, isn't it? I see Sam's Town. I see Sam's, I see Sam's Town. The El Dorado Hotel and Casino, along with the Horseshoe Casino.
they even also have a Red River conference room. I rather not open the door, but they do have a conference room. It may be empty right now. There's the directory right over here to see where you're going. And I'm in level two right now. And I'm right in this section where the me meeting rooms are. So you see these last five rooms over there? These are the meeting rooms. And that's not all of the meeting rooms. I'm going to show you more. There are more re meeting rooms on the other side. See? Here's a sample of what one of their meeting rooms is like. on the other side, you have the ballrooms. They divide by sections, ballrooms A, B, C, and D. They're divided by sections, so this part over here is Captain Tree D. Without the sections, it's completely called the Captain Miller Street Ballroom. This is what ballroom C is like. Completely empty. Like they saved it for a future event. And right in here is ballrooms A and B. Look at the space ballroom A and B has. This door leads to ballroom D, but I wish I could show you, but they having a meeting in here right now, so I don't want to disturb them. I think they're having something going on tomorrow. I don't know what event. It's something going on either tomorrow or Saturday night, one of these days. But it may be exciting. You see the dance floor? <laughs> you can also tap dance in that floor. I mean, you can also tap dance on this floor. That's what I meant. Somebody left a balloon up there. The ballroom is way bigger than the meeting rooms. Look at all this space. Now this could be really great for a wedding reception. Oh. Sorry about that, I saw someone. 
I don't want anybody to think I'm talking to myself. <laughs> so, this is all I'm going to show you. This is all I'm going to show you for now. I wish I could show you the rest, but I doubt some of these places are off limits to show, so at least I gave you a short tour of what the convention center is like. So I really hope you enjoy my first vlog. Oh, I forgot one more thing. There's the food and beverage office. And the emergency exits. This is all I'm going to show you right now. I really hope you enjoy my first vlog. Bye, everyone. <laughs>